Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Titan Chain Ladder Style Twist Link Chains. We're going to see how they look like as well as how they are installed on the 2022 Chevrolet Malibu. So you got your Chevrolet Malibu, but you're also expecting some inclement weather like a lot of snow on the forecast coming up. Well, in that case, you're going to need some tire chains. I'll give you that extra grip as you drive through the snow or even mud. These are twist link tire chains that are great for that. Now, if you're expecting a little bit more ice, probably not as ideal. I would recommend something that has square links instead. Now, what does that all mean? Let's talk about it. So these are twist links made of a low carbon steel. So the focus of low carbon steel is durability. That way they're strong even in the extreme weather. The downside to this is they're not as corrosion resistant as others. So if you're planning on using them for multiple seasons or every single day, I would recommend something else. Now they are shaped as twist links, which is great for snow or even mud because it just rolls through them and doesn't pack up as much compared to your other grippier style chains. Now, if you're expecting just a little bit of ice, this will still work out. But then if you're expecting a lot of ice, you want something with more flat edges. Ladder style chains are your traditional style chains where they're shaped like a ladder. And they're popular because a lot of people, if they're familiar with them, can just drive onto them, make those connections, or they know how to make those connections in the back underneath the vehicle. I'll show you how to install them later on. The downside to ladder style chains is that you are going to hear a bump, 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 bump on the road. But if you are driving carefully through the snow, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Plus, it'll help you be more secure that you do have that grip and traction. So this doesn't have any other assists for tensioning. You just have this lever that as long as you know which of the links is correct for your tire, you can get that tension in place. Now, I personally recommend pretty much for every ladder style chain to have a separate rubber tensioner. That way it adjusts with the chain as you drive around. So for the Malibu, you will have some different tire sizes options. So just double check yours. Ours is 225, 55, R17. If you're not sure which tire size you have, you can find it printed on your sidewall. That number is important because then you can go to eTrib.com, look through the fit guide, put your year make model, and then select which tire size is yours, and that will get the right fit for you. When your chains arrive, you're going to get two of them inside a box like this. So two because one for the passenger, one for the driver's side. Also, we have this installed on the front tires. Double check your owner's manual just to see their guidance for that. Here in the box, now this is nice and compact. I prefer a box compared to like the sack some of the other chains come in. It makes it easier to store inside your vehicle, especially for those emergency situations. So on that note, I do recommend getting your own pair of gloves, sticking that in there so it's ready to go when you're ready to go. We also have a tire chain safety installation kit that has a rubber mat as well as lights to help you out. I would get them if I need them for in case of emergency. They're pretty affordable and they're good to just stick into your trunk for those times when there's gonna be a lot, a lot of snow unexpectedly. Now, if you're expecting to be driving through snow pretty much all winter long, these probably won't get you there in terms of that long-term durability. They're awesome for that one time, but if you want something more premium, take a look at the Koenig CG9 tire chains. Those are a solid choice, although more at a premium price. The installation can be a little tricky. You are gonna have to make those connections back there. You might have to reach around your tire, and with the Malibu being closer to ground, that could be a little tough. So that's gonna be up to you. We'll take a look at the installation video to see if that's something you're interested in still. So. so what I recommend doing is pretty much the moment you get your tire chains in the mail, lay them out in your garage and just double check that everything looks good. Get familiar with how it's supposed to look like, but more importantly, familiar with how to put it on. That way you know what to do before you're stranded by the side of the road and it's snowing or icy. So we're going to take a look at how to make sure it's tangle free as well as facing the right way. So see how the ends of our chains are all facing the right way and they're not like mis or malformed. You're also going to make sure that your hook is facing away from your tire and that the flat part is facing on the tire. So what I do is I have the flat part facing down and I just comb out those chains. 
We also have this longer tensioning hook. You want that facing the front of your chains and the front of your tire as you drape everything over. Try to grab them by the middle and then gently put them over your tire, making sure there's an equal length on each side. Now there's different ways to install tire chains. The way I'm showing you is the best way to test fit it in your garage because then you're not driving over and around, things like that. But that's something to consider too in terms of how easy it is to get this installed. Now the side with the long hook, that's also going to be the side that has the hook for the back connection. So you want to make sure you're on that side to hook there. Now let's do that. So see how I left the other links on the other side as far back to make it easier to reach. Well, we're gonna grab those links and connect it to our hook. We're gonna use it for this connection because it's easiest. So see these links in front? You can pick and choose which one gives you a good balance of tension, but also still doable. So see how this fits right in through that link. Then you're gonna push the link all the way to the end of that hook. And then you're gonna rotate that hook to secure it. Now let's secure it hook facing out on one of these links. So that's pretty good solid tension there. What I like to do though, just because once you start driving around and you hit ice and rocks, you may have a little bit of a shifting on the chains on the tire. So then we're gonna use these separate rubber tensioners for pretty much any ladder style chain. I highly recommend using them. They clip right into those links and we're gonna go Chris cross to evenly distribute it. And that's how you install your tire chains. Do the same thing on the driver's side. Afterwards, roll forward or roll backward a couple feet. Double check that everything is okay. That's one of the first things you need to just check before you hit the road. And now you're ready to face the snow.